our legislative efforts are focused on building enough support for the agreement to prevent Congress uh, from uh, spoiling it. And uh, that's what we, uh, uh, we will continue to do. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest claiming the administration is focused on stopping the Congress from, quote, spoiling the Iran deal. As the White House consumes itself with pushing this deal forward, a group of nearly 200 retired generals and admirals sent a letter to Congress urging our legislative branch to reject this agreement. For more, we welcome in from Newsmax, Washington, Colonel Derek Harvey, who is the director for Global Initiative on Civil Society and Conflict. We should also point out Derek is a former Army intelligence officer. And joining us via Skype from Big Sky Country in Montana, retired Major General from the United States Army, Paul Vallely, who also serves as the chairman of Stand Up America. Gentlemen, thanks to you both and welcome into Newsmax Prime. General Vallely, you are one of those signing the letter. Why is it important to send that letter to the Congress? Well, it's critical. As you remember, uh, last month the White House put out a letter signed by uh, uh, 20 some uh, generals and admirals who uh, lean towards Obama and have uh, in the past. And I said at that time, I can gather up with others over uh, 10 times that amount as a minimum. And that's what we've done with some 200 generals and admirals saying this is not a good deal and we have to stop it and we need to stop it now before it goes any further. Colonel Harvey, the State Department seems to be trying to laugh off this letter. Is the administration not taking the opposition seriously? Well, I think they should be taking it seriously, but I don't think they are. Uh, they are scheming and just trying to obfuscate what is becoming clear every day as we learn more and more about this deal, that it's a bad deal for the United States. No matter where we look, we're finding more information, more details that give us grave concern. And speaking of grave concerns, Paul, you have said in the past you have written articles saying it is your belief that Iran already possesses a nuclear weapon. That is ominous indeed. What leads you to believe that, Paul? Well, over the past year, J.D., my intel analysts uh, have taken all the evidence, uh, hard evidence, facts, uh, 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 intel reports coming from inside Iran, and from the Middle East, and they have, for the past decades, uh, have gotten the support from Russia, from North Korea, and from China. So it's a cabal that's been set up to support the Iranian nuclear program. They have the launch systems, they have the guidance control system, they have the detonation system, they have the warhead. And guess what? Russia and North Korea has tested everything for them. All they have to do is put it together, J.D., like a tinker toy, and uh, that's why they have the nuclear capability now, and this agreement is really a moot point. The only reason Iran wants to do it, to get released some $150 billion from sanction money they can take to use to further their programs. Derek, we listen to what Paul has to say. I've known Paul a long time, and uh, he is serious. I, I don't know if we put this under the rubric of informed speculation, or uh, I just want to get your take, Derek, on what you've heard from Paul. Well, it's very credible. I was a ballistic missile analyst for North Korea. I also worked on national intelligence estimates dealing with Iran and North Korea nuclear aspirations. And what he says, um, I would not doubt that it has a great deal of truth to it. Um, but we just need to see what is really going to develop in the future. Right now, you know, what is in the detail, the deal is very concerning as it pertains to ballistic missiles. And you don't need long-range ballistic missiles for conventional warheads. The only reason they have these intercontinental missiles that they're developing is for a nuclear delivery capability. So let's just, let's, let's let this sink in for a second. Basically, you gentlemen are telling me there is a high probability that uh, Iran already possesses nuclear weapons. So we, we understand that point, and, and we're hearing from the IAEA, Iran appears to have built an extension at the same site it's suspected of housing its nuclear development in the past. The nature of this building extension is not clear. 
Couldn't this new information jeopardize the IAEA's ability to monitor and verify anything going on in Iran? First to you, Derek. Well, I think the technical aspects of doing the examination and verification of what is actually going on in Iran is highly questionable right now, given the record of the IEA. They are looking at Iran as just another nuclear country, like Brazil or Chile or some other place that has peaceful nuclear programs. We need to treat Iran much differently with a greater level of suspicion and doubt. And speaking of doubt, Paul, you have gone as far, go so far as to say in this interview, the whole notion of Iran getting nukes is a moot point. Will, will the American people wake up or do you expect the agreement to, uh, to go through Congress and, and be ratified? Well, that's why we released the information yesterday the, and the intelligence uh, analysis of their program so that uh, people can, uh, contact their congressmen, their senators, and prevent this deal from even being signed. Because I know what's going to happen. They're going to continue to target uh, Israel, launch an attack, and then uh, launch an attack against the United States because we are their enemies. And that's why we said in the article, this is aiding and abetting the enemy of the United States, which is a treasonous event under our Constitution. And we have Perry, Valerie Jarrett, and Obama really bordering on treasonous grounds right now. We will have to leave it on that on, uh, ominous note. Paul Vallely in Montana, Derek Harvey in Washington, you have our thanks. Uh, disturbing to say the least. There's more ahead here on Newsmax Prime.